In today's video, we have a mystery box from a viewer. His last mystery box he sent us was insane. Let's see how this one stacks up. What's up guys, we are back with another mystery box opening. In this video, we are opening another box from Happy Whale. If you guys have not seen the previous video where Happy Whale sent us a mystery box, it was one of the most fun videos I've recorded in a very long time. It didn't do that well in terms of like viewership, so go check it out, I'll have it on the screen. He sent us a really cool box where we're opening, trying to complete his deck list. But I got some amazing feedback from the people who did watch that saying it was one of the most fun videos they've watched on my channel. So I'm super excited to open this box up he said it's going to be a different type of mystery box this time, but I have high hopes after the last one. All right, the first box we have says first rules and packs. I love these kind of interactive boxes where it's kind of like, okay, first open this and then you do this. And if you do this, like Kaz kind of did one the other day, Happy Whale did it before. They're super fun. All right, let's see what's inside. We have, okay, this is opening. Oh, there it is. I'm opening it wrong. That's why. All right, rules and giveaway. Let's start with that. Let's not get any spoilers here. Let's close that up real quick and set this aside. First off, let's start with the piece of paper. Does Yu-Gi-Oh ever keep you up at night? Uh, Konami keeps reprinting all my cards. <laughs> Does the stress of keeping up with modern Yu-Gi-Oh ever affect your skincare routine? Another new deck? I guess I'm foregoing my shower today to craft my new deck. This is where Geology comes in. Geology is a 26 time award winning skin, hair, and body care company recognized in Men's Health, Hype Beast, Birdie, Esquire, Ask Men, and Oprah Daily Grooming Awards. As Yukio collectors and players, these things can sometimes be set aside in lieu of more important things. But Geology realizes that we all have important things going on, and they create simple and effective skincare and hair care routines customized just for you with easy to stick to routines and products. Right now, click the link in the description box or scan the QR code on the screen and use code RUXIN100 to get 100% off your personalized skincare routine. On top of that, you can add 30% of the add-on products of your choice when you add it to the trial. Thanks again to Geology for partnering to sponsor this video and helping to save us Yu-Gi-Oh players from hygiene issues. Intro, you've been invited to the first ever duel tournament held across time. While preparing their decks, the duelists noticed that they were missing cards. Luckily, they purchased a few booster packs in advance. You and Sir Ruxin will have to use your pack opening skills to each help a different era complete their decks in time for their tournaments. This challenge will really test your knowledge of the anime. Oh, great. That's not good for me. The cards available in each pack and at what rarities. Please start with Jaden Yuki and Yusei Fudo. Rules. You may open packs from any duelist you've unlocked in any order. After every three packs you open, you can unlock a new duelist who will provide you with four new packs. Hit, choose the order you unlock them carefully. Each duelist has a list of cards they need. Each card you find and cross off will count as one point. All non-guaranteed hollows count as a bonus and allow you to cross off any card. Super rare equals one card, ultra rare two card, ulti secret ghost three cards. Whichever era gets more total points, 30 maximum wins. Oh gosh. This has gotten complicated. Okay, I'm gonna keep this to the side so I don't get confused. All right, giveaway is here. So to enter this giveaway, all you have to do, like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below. What's your favorite mystery box? This last one that we that we watched previously, you know, I told you about at the beginning, or this new one. This one sounds pretty intimidating and pretty scary, actually, but it also sounds really fun. Stardust Dragon, we have Flame Wingman, and then we have a Generation Force Booster Pack. So you guys can win all this stuff. Just make sure to do all that stuff I just said. People sometimes ask me how to enter giveaways. I'm like, it's at the beginning of every video. We go through every single step. I don't know how people are asking me this, unless they're not watching the videos. That's probably what happening okay now we have game boards which is second after reading the rules so we need to we read the rules so now it's time to open this all right i bet this dude was incredible in school i mean look at this it, this is so creative look at this here are the game boards so we have let's see if we can name all the characters Jaden yuki chaz princeton uh, zane truesdale aster phoenix uh, dr crowler you say food where are the originals wait are you kidding me? I gotta know the five Ds in GX anime. Oh, great, this is bad. You say Jack Atlas, we have Akiza, we have Crow Hogan, and then we have like Leo and something, the two twins. Okay, so I think I figured this out. So you start with Jaden and we start with you say. So these are already unlocked. Once we unlock another duelist, we take this bar off. He didn't actually say that, but he texted me that. He forgot to put that. So you can take that off and that unlocks their cards. Okay, so we're starting with these two, and after these three packs, we get to unlock a new duelist. Every time we pull one of their cards, it counts as one point. Max is 30. I don't know why there's a max, because what if they both get 30? Is that like a tie? I don't know. So let's just start with these. This one's definitely more complicated, but I kind of like it. It's a creative battle here. So we're going to do a 
Start with Jaden. So Jaden Yuki, it should actually be on this side. What will Jaden be able to pull? We need to pull Elemental Heroes. We need to pull Wing Karibo. We need, oh wow, these are some nice backs. There's a Strike and Eos in here. Okay, good stuff. Let's start with the Duelist pack. I feel like that's our best chance to get off to a hot start. Okay, let's go. Hero cards, basically Grand Mole, Wing Karibo, stuff like that. Any of that will be epic for us. Let's see what we can do. I'm excited about this. Uh, only a few cards in these packs, so let's see if we can get one we need. Does that count, Sparkman? I don't think Sparkman's even on there. We have our Righteous Justice. We need E-Emergency Call. Doesn't count. We have a Contact, also not on the list. Neospatian Dark Panther. Wrong Neospatian. Okay. Uh, Common Soul. We're about to go over on this pack. And Cyclone Boomerang. Okay, we just whipped on our first pack. Okay, let's get our Yusei packs out and see what we can get. Storm of Ragnarok, Stardust Overdrive. Wow, Champion Pack 7. Okay, Legendary Collection 5Ds, Duelist Genesis. We are talking high end here. Let's start with another Duelist pack. We're going to do Yusei. Let's see if the 5Ds can take the lead. Right now, it's 0-0, zero, zero, so it's pretty intense. Ever, ever, we get to unlock a new Duelist after three packs. Let's keep that in mind. I can't open this. There we go. That's Let's just do that like a professional, okay? Okay, first pack, we have Imperial Iron Wall. Wow, that's an old card. Uh, defense draw. Okay, not a card we need. We have card rotator. Urgent tuning. We only need one trap. So if it's a trap or and no spell card. So if it's not anything else, we're good. Speed warrior. We do need that. First point open. Speed warrior. Warrior. What am I saying? And shield warrior. We do not need. So we officially get to mark off our first card. Five D's takes the lead. All right, so I'm doing my best to show this as long as we can. So Shield Warrior has been pulled. So you can only pull it once. If we're doing it like the same way we did last time, you can't do double. So that's only one point for them. Even if I pull Shield Warrior like seven times. So that one doesn't count or the next one won't count. So let's go back to GX, Royal and Mega Pack. This should have some high potential here to pull multiple cards. I'm hoping that we can do it. Uh, three packs from each, we will be able to unlock a new Duelist to assist. All right, we have Elemental Hero Prisma. Cool card, valuable card, but not a card that we need. We have an Elemental Hero Divine Neos. Cool, wrong Elemental Hero. Groth Light Sworn Warrior. I'm still looking. Dimensional Prison. This is a great pack. It's just not like the cards we're looking for. Uh, Super Polymerization. Speaking of, this did get a reprint recently, so it's no longer 20 bucks. Light and Dragon. Wow, are we really going to pull nothing out of here? Destiny Hero Diamond Dude, somehow. Cyber Dragon, they're just all non Jaden cards. Arcus Lightsworn Druid, oh my goodness. And Avian, does this count? Alternate art, I assume it counts. It counts, it's the same card, it's just a different artwork. So Avian is our first hit for GX, I think that's gotta count. Okay, so we've marked off Avian, so we are now one to one right now through two packs, but that was a heavy hitting pack, only getting one, one you know, score there, so it's not too good. You say you're up next. So we're going to do another you say pack. We're going to go back to back here. We have it works last time with Shield Warrior. Let's see what else we can get. A Healing Wave Generator, a Confusion Chaff. We have an upside down Junk Warrior. You definitely need that. And then a Shield Warrior. OK, we already got that guy. And then a Quip Shot. A second one from Duelist Pack, you say. Oh my goodness. Going ham over here. They're now up 2 1. All right, this is getting intense, to be honest. This is going pretty well. I think we're going to open up this next. It, what is this? Is it McDonald's pack? Is this a McDonald's pack, too? I think this is a McDonald's pack. This is kind of cool. All right, let's see what we can get. Let's see what we can pull right here. Should be some classic GX cards. Missed Body. Don't need that one. Okay, that's the rare. Trachodon. Wait, oh, wait, there are three cards in here. And then a Dungeon Worm. Were there, what could you possibly get out of there? I really don't know. What is there? Like Wing Karibo, maybe? Okay, let's do Storm of Ragnarok. GX is falling behind. 2-1. And now they're opening a new pack for 5Ds. I, I've run out of space on my desk here. This has officially maxed me out in terms of stuff that's going on. Nordic Relic. We have Kagamusha. Needle Ball. Karakuri. I don't think we need any of these, right? <laughs> Actually, we we'll probably should pay attention. We have Solemn Authority. Okay, Tiki Soul. I don't know what you can get in here. Goddard Amarung. Sheehan's Daredevil. Hopefully I don't miss anything. And a Resonator Engine. Yeah, we definitely didn't pull any of those cards. So a whiff there finally for 5Ds. That allows us to unlock another character, but first we're going to do GX and uh, even it out. So we're going to go to Strike and Eos first, Dad. Obviously, we got to go for that forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card which we have pulled now I'm very proud of ourselves let's go what can we get I think Grand Mole's in here uh I don't know of anything else it's probably just Grand Mole all right we're going for Grand Mole if three or four I'm just gonna do three I don't know Neospatian Glow Moss very cool we have Anti-Fusion Device Chuchulain The Awakened Firestorm Prominence Legendary Ebon Steve Sheehan's Foot Soldier Marionette Might 
Sage of Silence and Puppet Plant. So I think we just went over there on Strike and Neo. So a couple whiffs in a row. But the bright side, we get to unlock a new character. So, okay, what do we need? We need the Quillbolt Hedgehog. We need the Quick Draw. I don't know if these packs fall enough. I mean, this is Duel's Genesis, obviously. So I guess we could go there and hope. Drill Warrior, I think, is absolutely powerful, so which is also him. So we could be going for both of those, but those are really tough pulls. But it could have Jack Atlas Duelist pack. He has one, right? Does he? He actually might not. Now that I think, I don't know if he does. I don't know. I don't know. Let's uh, let's go for him. Let's go for Jack. I might be making a mistake. He's listed first, which means it probably shouldn't be going for him. Okay. All right. Let's see. We have an okay. Absolute power force. We can get Battle Fader. We can get Clock Resonator. We can get whatever that guy's name is. And uh, Prideful Roar. This has Power Invader. And then uh, Red Dragon Archfiend. And then over here, we need, uh, I mean, these are all Jadens, but I'm trying to think of how they could cross over and have like both. Uh, do, I'm trying to think like Lost Millennium. Who else would have Lost Millennium cards? Oh, Crowler. Let's do Crowler. Okay. Lost Millennium potential with Ancient Gears. Let's do that. Okay. Yes. And Ancient Gear cards. So I think Lost Millennium could be very nice because these are like commons in there. And so are a lot of these. So it could be a high scoring one right there. Okay, Jack Atlas time. Let's see what packs he has. I think it's four new packs per character. So this is going to end up being a long video. So enjoy it because it's going to be fun. Absolute power force as I just as Count Dooku predicted. We have two Crimson Crisis. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we unlocked these four, but we only have to open three packs. So I guess I'm just going to add them to the stack here. So we have a stack of between Jaden and between Jack. So they've been added three packs later that we get to open a new one. Then we have Crowler. I feel like Maybe I'm not supposed to, you gotta, I think you're supposed to open all the packs. I don't know. I'm just gonna keep going. We're just gonna do my best. Dark Revelation, where's the Lost Millennium? There it is, two Lost Millennium, Shadow of Infinity, and Dark Revelation. Okay, looking good. Let's go for Absolute Power Force first, because that's the one I kind of expected to be for Jack. Right now it's two to one. We've marked off two. Max is 30. I mean, I don't know if we're gonna get to 30. Let's see. Let's do three from the back. I don't know what the pack trick is. We have Advanced Force. We need to get either. I don't know if there's any Yusei cards in here. There probably are, so I gotta keep an eye out. Call the Reaper. Uh, not Pride for Roar. We have Bikular. We have Serpent Suppression. Fire Ant Ascator. Cards of Consonance. That's a hollow. That counts. We get to mark off something. That's a really good super. We have Ascending Soul and a variety comes out. So I don't think any of those actually were cards we needed. But Cards of Consonance is a nice hollow, which means we get to mark something off. That is beautiful. Okay, question is, which do we mark off? I think Stardust could be really hard because we've already opened the Duelist Pack, you say, and we did not get Stardust. And that was going to be like the lower rarity one. We're not probably not getting an Ultra, a Ghost, or a Ultimate Rare. So I think I'm going to go for Stardust. Drill Warrior is also kind of high rarity. But he, I'm, I'm gonna go Stardust. I'm gonna go get rid of the Stardust. This could be a mistake, but I'm gonna go for Stardust because he is high rarity in Duelist Genesis. I don't think he comes in any other pack except probably the 5Ds pack. All right, that gives them three points. It's time for Lost Millennium. I think this has high potential to hit a lot of cards. Ancient Gear cards, commons. Elemental Hero cards, commons. Wing Karibo is a super. I mean, there's a lot of, I mean, we could get Elements of Flame Wing Man if we get super lucky. That could be in here. Ancient Gear Soldier, already starting it off with a point. I knew it. I knew this was a good decision. There's an Ancient Gear Soldier. One, two, three, four. All right, so we have Win the Wind Charmer. Okay, the other it's all Ancient Gears for Crowler, so we don't really need to look too hard. Miss Polymerization. We got a Mind Golem. Graveler. There's our first point of the pack. Ancient Gear Soldier. We got Gift of the Martyr. Battery Charger. We need something in the Hollow slot. Minefield Eruption and... Millennium Scorpion. So, okay, it was just one point, but one point is one point. All right, I'm marking this off. This one's at the bottom, so it's, it's kind of hard to see, but I, I have marked it off with the Sharpie. Don't worry, guys. All right, I guess I'll go for one Crimson Crisis since we got two different packs there for Jack. Let's see what we can get. We have Battle Fader, Clock Resonator. I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff that we want to get here. I'm going to do three just to be safe and not ruin it. We have Morphtronic Force Field. Okay, we don't need that. Spell Reactor. Ree! We have Cross Sword Beetle. We have Fake Explosion. Blackwing Sirocco the Dawn. We needed this in the last video. It was a Blackwing deck, so that was pretty cool. Uh, Assault Overload. Fake Explosion. Alien Overlord. I don't think we need any of these. And... Oh, a Dark Strike Fighter. That's a hollow. That means we get to mark off another card. Dark Strike Fighter. Crazy, crazy card. Not one we actually need for this specific thing. It's going to suck if we like pull, needed it later and we pull it probably needed it oh yeah we, yeah i see the i see what he mean do the order carefully because now if you pull blackwing oh this sucks okay i think we're gonna go for this because i don't think jack has a duelist pack so we're gonna get rid of his red dragon archfiend that's 
I could be in the five D's pack, but I'm gonna get rid of that. That gives them four points. So it's four to two right now. It's a beat down. I'm gonna go back to Lost Millennium because I think they need the points. Lost Millennium, here we go. All right, starting it off with a dummy golem. Not too crazy. We have a little pack trick action. Can we get an ulti? That'd be pretty cool. Throw that in. That'd be three cards we get to mark off. Coming outside below, we have Win the Wind Charmer, Lost Guardian, Shifting Shadows, Dummy Golem, Death Wombat, Level Conversion. I'm not even looking. I guess I should be, but none of those are Ancient Gears, so I think we're good. Uh, level Conversion Lab, Doriato's Blessing, and the Nitro unit. We whiffed. No common heroes. That is so rough. All right, a big whiff there. Let's go back to, back to absolute power. I think 5Ds is looking good right now. 5Ds is really looking good. This this is going to be a tough one for uh, for GX to come back from, I think. Three from the back. Let's go. We have Sape, Reptilian Servant, Break Draw, Power Supplier. I guess I should be paying more attention here because these are the ones I don't know as well. Uh, we have Oil Man, Informer Spider, the Dragon Dwelling in the Deep, another Hollow. That's another bonus card. Viper Dez and a widespread duo. So another card they get to mark off. All right, so this hollow, we get to mark off one more card. I really don't know what it should be because I think a lot of these are commons. Maybe Junk Synchron? I don't know what that comes in besides the structure deck. Uh, Battle Fader is also really high. I'm going to go Battle Fader, actually. That's super high rarity. That's like an ultra and an ulti. So let's go Battle Fader. Uh, some of the, I mean, all these could be, I should open the 5Ds pack. What am I doing? Open the 5Ds pack next, dude. All right, I'm going to open another one of Crowler's packs because this has potential for a lot of nice commons. Dark Revelation 3. We have Win again. We've gotten that like twice. Okay, but we don't need it. Dang it. Okay, we have uh, Monk Fighter. Don't need that guy. We have Element Dragon. Don't need that guy. Goblin Calligrapher. Rocks and Special. We have Death Wombat. We have the Foxfire. I'm looking for something. Hollow Light Barrier. Hollow. That means we get to mark something off. Mind Crush. We have Lone Wolf, crazy card. We have a Moki Moki Smackdown. Can we get something we need? Kamenate Blow and Release Restraint. Wow, these are rough right now. So this is tough. Is it going to be... What do we have left? We still have a Duelist Pack, Jaden. So this could have a Flame Wing Man in it. So we got to... And then and we have Raw Yellow, which could have Rainbow Neos Common in it. So maybe Electrum's the best because he's a super in Raw Yellow, I think. Or maybe that's G... Oh, he might be a Common. It might be Legendary Collection. GX is a Common or a Super. I think we just got to pick one. I think it's going to be Rainbow Neos, because that could be a common in there, but those are still hard to pull. It's a high rarity card in Phantom Darkness, so I'm going to... Or should it be Ancient Gear Golem? Wait, I think I'm going to do Ancient Gear Golem, because I don't know where... Yeah, I don't know where we're going to pull that, so let's get rid of Ancient Gear Golem real quick. Because uh, we already opened the Lost Millennium, didn't get it there. I don't know if it's even in Raw Yellow Mega Pack, so let's get rid of that one. I think that's the smart call. We officially get to unlock two new duelists, so we're going to be doing this. Oh, we got... Wow, we got... This is going to be a long video. I have no idea what they're associated with. I, I mean, I know they have, like, Power Tool Dragon ancient fairy dragon so it's gonna be like ancient prophecy raging battle maybe those don't seem to really cross over with anything we have right now i feel like i've already messed up i'm just you know what i'm just gonna do i'm just gonna go for because i feel like i should have done this earlier we're gonna go for crow hogan next so it is black wings we already pulled a soroko no i ruined it huge mistake he warned me in the note and i still fell for it Okay, over here, Zane is going to have like Cybernetic Revolution, which could have maybe Skyscrapers in there, I think, with Jaden. So that could cross over. Nothing with Doctor. Wait, that's in Shadow of Infinity. Who has Shadow of Infinity? Who's going to have the Sacred Beast? I guess we already had a Shadow of Infinity pack with him, so I don't know. You will have Duelist packs, so it might be easier to pull stuff. We got a little hint here. This uh, this pack has pictures of them on the, on the thing, so I think all three of them on there. So I guess just... I should probably have opened that one already. Well, no, I should probably wait till they're unlocked to open that one. A big brain. That's what we're going to do. Maybe we'll do... Eh, let's go with the Chaz. I don't really know what order to go on here. Okay, Ojamas. That's going to be fun. Let's see what we can pull. Okay, starting off with the Crow Man himself. Crow Hogan. See what kind of packs he has. I'm sure there's a Duelist Pack Crow in here. Other ones with Black Wings? Maybe some of the packs we just opened. I don't know. Let's see. We have Turbo Pack. Ooh, okay. That's good. Shining Darkness, obviously. We have in the two Duelist Pack Crow. So that should help us out. Four packs there. We have the Chaz. The Chaz. What else did he get? That's my favorite part about Chaz. It's just the way they say his name. It's just awesome. It's just too good. All right, the Chaz. What'd you get? You got elemental energy packs. Okay, and then two Chaz Princeton. That makes sense. And let's start it off strong. We want to get Duelist Pack Crow because this is all about Crow. It just makes sense. Okay, three packs and we can unlock another one. And then we just kind of finish it out with the rest of the packs that are available, I guess. Black Thunder. So it's on here. It's we got to keep an eye on here. It's all monsters and then a Blackwing Dragon. So 
Let's see if we can get any of those. We have Raptor Wing Strike, not a monster. We don't have to care. A uh, Silver Wind's a good card, but not one we need. Delta Ant. Oh, come on. Don't give us nothing. Blizzard. We need that one, right? We don't need a Blizzard. What is this? Come on. Dairy Queen's getting disrespected over here. All right. Okay. Well. Well, that's good for GX, I guess. All right, same strategy. We're going with the Chats. What you gonna pull, Chats? You gonna pull a few cards for us, eh? Let's go, Chaz. We need to pull Ojama Green. We need to pull V Tiger Jet, Oja Magic, Chthonium Palmer, Ojama King. Let's go. Ojama Green. Right off the bat, we got one. Let's go. Okay, great start. Arm Dragon level three. How is that not one we need? Arm Dragons? I mean, come on. Okay. Oja Muscle. Oh, not Oja Magic. It's close. Arm Changer and Jethonium Bomber! Two and a five card pack! Let's go! Big hits! If we had a foil in there, it would have been insane. The Chaz comes through again! Jethonium Palmer, Ojama Green, two have been added. Does that tie the score? It's looking good. All right, what are we gonna do next? I think it's Duelist Pack. I think it's just the move. Start with Duelist Pack, because it's not really gonna overlap, really, most of the time. It's mostly just gonna be that Duelist, so. Okay, level return. Let me remind myself. What do you need, Crow? You need all monsters. They're saying again, we have Black Thunder. Oh, we got a Shura. We definitely need that one. Okay, we do. Okay, I haven't already pulled this one. We have Blackwing Guts, the Black Blast. We don't need a Back Blast. And we have cards for Black Feather. So we got one. That's not bad. One is solid. We got ourselves a Shura of the Blue Flame. Okay, this is this is heating up. Let's go back to Chaz. Mr. Chaz is killing it. I mean, a V Tiger Jet common Oja Magic, that feels possible out of here. The Chaz, what do you got for us? You got two in here last time. Will you get another one to take the lead? I think you take the lead. I don't know. Let me, uh, we, we have a V Tiger Jet. It's in the set list. Arm Dragon level three. Again, too bad we don't need it. Oh, doubles. Doesn't dun, dun count. Infernal Incinerator. V Tiger Jet, these are killing it. All right. And a Y Dragon Head. So we don't need any of the, you know, the Y Dragon Head or anything. But another point. Let's mark that one off. Looking good. I feel like this is a probably a good one. Let's open a crow specific one. It's not going to have too much crossover, hopefully. Shining Darkness. I can't remember exactly everything that's in here, but uh, definitely has some potential. We do need to get a Blackwing Dragon at some point. All right. Testudo Arat Newman. This was like, what? It was like a $5, 10 card for a while. We have Blackwing Bombardment. X Saber. Palamuro. I'm really afraid I'm gonna miss something with all these other cards. We have Flare Resonator. We don't need that from Jack, do we? Resonators? No, we don't. Okay. Battery Man Triple A. Gen X Undyne. Interesting. We have Morphtronic Scrambled Eggs. The Dread Grandma Dragon and Memory Crush King. I think we just whiffed on that. I don't think any of those are on the board. Let me know which ones I miss at the end because I'm sure I'm gonna miss some by the end of this. Okay, they get to pick a new duelist after this. Now it's time for the GX side. What do we want? Maybe just a elemental energy because we have two of these. Uh, I'm trying to think. This could have Chaz cards and it could have uh, some, it could have some Jaden cards. No, I don't actually know if any of those would be in there. Yeah, let's just go for it. Just go for it. I'm sure I don't, I can't think of any Chaz or Aster cards, but I could be wrong. One, two, three. I think it's four on GX. Uh, these are stuck together. Is that a good sign? Maybe. Wait, what the? I'm just going to keep going. There's three cards stuck right there. Scar Scout of Dark World. Uh-oh, Dark Worlds. Reborn Zombie. Oxygeton. Oh, man. Do we need any of these? Beige Vanguard of Dark World. Oh, man. Chthonium Palmer. Unfortunately, I already have it. Blade Skater. We've got Boss Rush. Oh, and an Elemental Hero! Tempest! Which, unfortunately, is not a card we need. Oh, an ultra rare Tempest. Whoa. Okay, if this was an ulti, we would be crying right now with like an in insanity. But hey, that's two cards we get to mark off. And it's an elemental hero Tempest just in general. Wow, cover card. That is insane. GX is on a major comeback. It's getting too intense in here. I got to take this off. All right, it was getting so intense in here. I had to take my sweatshirt off. Now, uh, it's tough to decide now. A lot of these are commons. I think we need to go for the Rainbow Neos and the Electrum. I think is what we're going to... Um, it should be... Flame Wingman and Electrum. Because Flame Wingman might be higher rarity in the reprint set. So I'm going to do Flame Wingman and I'm going to do Electrum as the two we get to knock off there. Okay, next, uh, I'm just I'm just throwing darts at a board at this point. I'm just going to go for Akiza for Crossroads of Chaos potential. Okay, a lot of, yeah, definitely Crossroads of Chaos stuff going on there. Okay, and then we're going to unlock, uh, do we going to save Zane for last? He has Cyber Dragons. But yeah, let's save Zane for last. We'll do... Aster next. Destiny hero stuff. 
All right, Zane time. This is a really intense battle. Surprisingly close, actually. GX has made a nice little comeback here. They were kind of starting slow, but done better ever since with a big first foil, Phantom Darkness. Oh, Cybernetic Revolution. Duels Pack, Zane, Truesdale. That's getting intense. Oh, wait, I was supposed to open those second. Oh, well, that's fine. Okay, Aster, let's open those real quick. Okay, we have Enemy of Justice first, Ed, and then some Aster Phoenix. So I think we're going to start with the Duelist Pack Aster Phoenix because those usually do the best because they're more tailored to their actual cards. So cards we actually need. Oh, wait, I'm dumb. I ch wait, I see why I'm confused. Zane is a GX character. Whoops. Um, We cheated a little bit. Okay, save those Zane for later. Why did I why did I think I did Zane? Akiza, not Zane. What am I doing? Okay, so we're doing the Aster for GX. Sorry, Zane. We uh, got, got a little ahead of ourselves there. We'll put those to the side. Akiza, what am I doing? I'm going crazy. Unfortunately, that's the last one anyway, so it shouldn't change anything. We, I mean, it gives a little insight to GX. Kind of unfair, but that's fine. Uh, Crossroads of Chaos, a Extreme Victory, and Storm of Ragnarok. So, whoops, made a mistake there. My bad. Yeah, let's go for a Crossroads of Chaos pack. So, let's start with our first of three Akiza packs. Let's see if we if we get a Ghost Rare here. Can you imagine? That'd be a pretty cool way to do it. We need the Black Garden. We need the Glow Up Bulb. I don't think Glow Bulb's even in here, is it? What is it in? Factor of 200 Machines. We have Gigantic Cephalotus, probably one of the other packs we just got. Goblin Decoy Squad, Bamboo Scrap. Morphtronic Cameraman. I don't think it's any of these. Wall of Ivy. What is that one? Okay, Rose Fairy. That's what that other one says. Okay, Black Garden might be in here. Revival Gift, Search Striker, and a Gadget Driver. I'm pretty sure we didn't need any of those. All right, that indeed was a whiff, so that's okay. Let's go to Duelist Pack Aster. Let's see if we can pull something good. We need some all Destiny Hero stuff. The Clock Tower Prison, you guys know it haunts us in our dreams, so we're naturally going to pull it. We probably won't just because it'll haunt us the other way. What's the... Okay, not a trap we need. Destiny Hero Dasher. We have Destiny Hero Fearmonger. Another one. Two Destiny Heroes we don't need. D Spirit. No, not that one. Blade Master. All the Destiny Heroes we don't need. Okay, we officially didn't need any of those. We both went over there. I'm going to go back to Crossroads. Kind of her main set. This is kind of a dark printing. I kind of like this. Kind of like it. Let's see what the next item will be for Akisa. Akisa, Black Rose Dragon. All right, we have Confusion Chaff. She has a very high voice. The why, I can't, I can't do the voice, so don't be offended, voice of Akisa, because you did sign my Black Rose, and it's really cool. The White Stone of Legend, uh, Card Rotator, Goblin Decoy Squad, Bamboo Scrap, The Nettles, Iron Chain Repair Man. We don't need any of these, right? And a Morphtronic self. No, that Morphtronics, it's them. Oh, crap. They probably needed that one. Dang it. Huge mistake on my end. Let's go back to Duelist Pack. It's easier when they have Duelist Pack because you can just open those first and you're like, no, this isn't going to cross over with anything. But sometimes you don't have a Duelist Pack. If you're a Kiza, you Kiza, you got, you got shorted. That's pretty sad. Okay, Astro, let's see what you can do. Guard penalty. Come on, give us something this time. D shield. No, that's not it. Double dude. No, another one we don't need. How is this possible? D chain? How? How? Misfortune. None of those. We didn't need any of those Destiny heroes. Wow, that was rough. Okay, next. I think Storm of Ragnarok can have Black Wings, right? Let's go for this one. Let's go for Storm of Ragnarok. It could cross over, potentially. Let's see if it will. Let's see if it'll cross over. One, two, three. We have Shin Squire, Nordic Relic. We have. What is this going to have for Akiza? I don't even know. Black Wing, Kalima the Haze. Wait, more Black Wing? Wrong Black Wing. Resonator. Nordic Relic. These. Dartolf, March Toward Ragnarok, and Vylon Matter. Okay, I feel like that didn't matter. Okay, that was our third pack. So let's do one Enemy of Justice, then we get to unlock the final duelist, which I already did by accident, all of them. Let's see if Enemy of Justice can pull something for Aster Phoenix, who has not been pulling anything. One, two, three, four. It's pretty sad. Majestic Mech. We have Destiny Signal. Unfortunately, we don't need that either. Cyber Tutu. No, uh, what's her name? What is her name? The one with the Cyber Angels. I don't remember. Grand Convergence. Elemental Recharge. H Heated Heart. We have Avalanching Asa. H Heated Heart. No, we needed the E. Okay. Dimensional Fissure. Crazy Carb. Don't need it. Oh, what a super. All right. Super Electromagnetic Voltec Dragon. Finally, a point on this round. That was a rough round. That will be adding one that we get to X out, which I think has got to be the... This is a super in raw yellow. This is a super as well. But I think just because... We got we to get rid of this because that is actually, it could be in the uh, Enemy of Justice, but I'm Xing it out because I hate it. No 
Clock Tower. All right, final two. I already accidentally opened Zane. So we have these packs for Zane that have just been unlocked. And then we have Le Luna Leo. Keep looking at this and thinking LaMelo for some reason. No, this is not Charlotte's point, Charlotte Hornets point guard. This is Raging Battle and Ancient Prophecy. That's what I predicted, just like Count Duke. Okay, yeah, so I can unlock this, which is, okay, we got a little spore there. A little spore, a little unicorn. If that Morphtronic Cellophon. Ah, oh, two missed points. I screwed it. Dang it. I messed up. All right, then we got Cyber Dragons, naturally. Oh, I messed up so bad. And both of my blunders were on the 5D side. So if they lose by two points, it's all my fault. And I think they're like down by two right now or something. So I've definitely screwed up big time. Now everything's unlocked, though. So we're just opening. Raging Battle. Let's see what we can get. We got to keep an eye on everything to make sure we don't miss anything. One, two, three. We have Phoenixian Seed, Gadget Arms, Morphtronic Scope, and I don't think we need that one, do we? No, we do need that. Morphtronic Scope, and let's go. Scope, and has been pulled. Double Tool CD, Mermaid Archer, Automatic Laser, Lava Dragon, Spell of Pain, and a Crimson Fire. Okay, so that gives us one more that we need right here. We should already have the other Morphtronic, but I messed up. Okay, let's do the Duelist Pack Zane. There's only one of these. These are actually kind of hard to find, these Duelist Pack Zanes, so that's probably why there's only one of them. Let's see, we need some Cyber Dragon stuff, obviously. We have Creature Swap, that is not anybody's. Future Fusion, that's a card right there. Ruthless Denial, that's a hollow. I've never seen this card in my life, so that is a bonus point. Mystical Space Typhoon and Cyber Dragon, Defusion. More points for the GX. What do we want to cross out? Probably Cyber and Dragon. That is going to be a really tough pull. So I'm going to X out that one. Okay, I guess it doesn't matter really in what order we buy, or buy open them now, because there's not really, you know, we, everything's available. It's unlocked. So let's just keep going. And this is a super long video, so I got to speed it up just a little bit. We have the Sunny Pixie. Should be fun, though. Quantum Mirror Hydro Barrier. Boulder. I can't do this. We have Brain Research. Wait, what am I looking for in here? I don't even know. Battle teleportation. We have White Potent. That's not the wa little Wadapon looking dude. Fortune Lady Fire. And a Pixie Ring. I don't know what we would have been looking for there. All right. Phantom Darkness. This was from Zane. So I guess mostly it's... What is it? What is what is in here that he wants out of Phantom Darkness? Cyber Valley? Is that it? I guess Rainbow Neos could be in here. We didn't mark it off yet. So there's that. Four from the back. Is that right? I think it is. Oh, Destiny Hero Departed. There's Destiny Heroes in here. Wrong Destiny Hero. Transmigration Break. Sinister Seed. And all, all out attacks. We have Dark World of Grimoire. We have Imprisoned Queen Archfiend. That's a pretty cool looking artwork. Instant Neo Space and uh, Call of the Earthbound. Okay, and that is no points. I'm just gonna keep going in the same order. Just kind of go down from where we started. Let's see. Raging Battle. Emissary from Pandemonium. Phoenixian Seed. Miracle Locust. Bone Temple Block. Master Gig. Tag of the Corner Rat. Morphtronic Repair Unit. Tore apart and a level returner. I think we whiffed again. Back to Phantom Darkness, which I think only has a couple of potential cards. So we might as well just open this one first. Okay, we are destroying this pack. See if we can open it up without killing any cards. We did it. There's going to be a Dark Arm Dragon in here. Just wait. We have a Gemini Lancer, Gladiator Proving Ground, Technology, Mirage Tube. That's a like YouTube. We have Cyber, the Calculator. Wait. Cyber Ouroboros. I was like, Cyber, wait, no. Dark Eyes Illusionist and Double Tag Team. I think we are with them right now. All right, back to the Leo and Luna packs. We have Potential Ancient Fairy Dragon, which I did not mark out. I didn't. Okay, we got these cards need to be flipped every time. We have Quackamira Boulder, Imperial Custom, Blackwing Mistral, Blackwing Mistral. That is not a Blackwing we need. Hydro Pressure Cannon, Cyborg Doctor, Aegis of the Ocean Overlord. We have a White Potent. We have Dark Sea Rescue and a Scary Moth. Scary, but not necessary. See what I did there? Back to Cybernetic Revolution. Could have Cyber Dragon. Cyber Ram, we already, already did. We need Power Bond. We need Overload Fusion. Is Overload Fusion? It is in here, right? Surely. One, two, three, four. We have a Jet Roid. Battery Man C. Give us that Cyber Dragon. Spiritual Earth. Cybernetic Cyclopean. Death Croaking. Mechanical Hound. Doitsu. Giant Kazaki. And. Bubble Man, who is not one of the elemental heroes Jaden needs, unfortunately. We are on a cold, cold streak. I opened all the OP packs early. Stream victory, what do you got for us? Three from the back on this one. Well, here we go. Boon of the Ocean with something, Lord. Serene Psychic Witch, why do I feel like we need that? We don't, apparently. Reboot, Mental Seeker, Power Adapter, 
Mechlord Army of Wazelle. That was reprinted in Rage of Raw. We have TG Warwolf. Necro Defender. And out of the blue, we have yet again pulled nothing. Okay. Okay. We got to pick it up. Enemy of Justice. You could. Uh, we're we're going to pull the clock now, now that I've marked it out. I'm just throwing that out there. It's going to happen now. Let's get the Doom Lord. It's a common. Come on. Oh, I should have marked out Dreadmaster. He's an ultra in here. There's no way we're getting that. I mean, I guess we could get the super. Raging Area, Whirlwind, Weasel. Celestial Transformation, Shattered Axe, D Shield, Swift Birdman Joe. We got Cyber Kieran, wrong Cybers. We have Dimensional Fissure, and I thought that was the Clock Tower guard penalty. We are just going to pull nothing, I guess. That's kind of the streak we're on. Crimson Crisis, Jack Atlas still has three cards that we can mark off right now. We just need a foil, too. I mean, those would knock stuff off as well. Come on, let's do it. We have the Flip Flop Frog, Ivy Shackles, Assault Revival, Psychic Sword, Trap Eater, Fake Explosion. We have Assault Overload. We have Psychic Tuning and an Ultra Bone Crusher. No one's ever been excited to pull Bone Crusher until now because we get to mark off two cards. That is totally worth it. Bone Crusher. What are we going to mark off now? We've opened all of the all of their packs. So I feel like we're not going to get like these cards. So I should probably just mark off Ancient Fairy. It could be in the 5Ds pack. It is a common in there. Maybe I should. Maybe I'm more likely to... Have we marked... We've already done Crow, too. Blackwing's the same thing. Kalut, we're probably not going to get. Kalut, I feel like, doesn't get printed a lot. It is in 5Ds. Well, let's, let's mark that one off. I think it's like an Ultra, though, so that's pretty tough. That's one, and then we get a second one. So I just... I feel obliged to mark off Sirocco after what I did. I ruined it. I We should have had it, so I'm going to mark it off. I'm going to mark it off. Okay, that was a big play right there. It's big. Uh, the score is getting intense right here. Uh, Turbo Pack 7. Let's go. Uh, only three cards in here, so not a lot of potential, but a lot of potential reprints and stuff. Lightning Warrior. Okay, this is not one. Ninjutsu Art of Decoy. It's a decoy for what we're looking for. And Go-Go the Gallant Ninja. So that is a big whiff right there. All right, this is this is really intense. It's coming out in the last few packs. I don't know who's going to pull this off. I don't I have no idea how long this video is going to be either. So it's been long. I hope you enjoyed your popcorn on this one. Here we go. Let's do three from the back on Stardust Overdrive. We have Relinquish Spider. It could be either three or five. Like, these are... The pack trick on this one's crazy. Quarkimira, a lot of different prints of Stardust Overdrive. Ritual Buster. Spider Spider. I feel like there was a Buster card. No, not it. Spider Spider. We have Toon Magician. Herculean Power. Regulus. Come on, give us something. Fortune Lady Wind. And another Hollow. Quarkimira Beetle. Miru. Quarkimira Beetle. Very nice. That is another card that we get to X out. And I think it's got to be, I think Black I mean, all these big ones are going to be really hard. Is it really a print of Spore? I'm going to get rid of Spore. I don't remember Spore being in a lot of packs. So I don't know. I'm going to open the 5Ds next just so I can. I feel like I should have done this right when we had unlocked all the packs. I should have opened those because then I could eliminate the possibility of getting those other ones. That's what I'm going to do here, over here on the 5Ds or the GX side. We're going to open Raw Yellow Mega Pack, eliminate any potential reprint possibilities and only go with main sets to really streamline what we mark off. Okay, card ejector. You better give us some, some cards here. Rainbow Gravity, Rux and Special. We have Ancient City, Wrong Wing Karibo, unfortunately. Six Samurai, Yuriza, not needed. Hero Flash. Not needed. By the way, it said non-guaranteed foil, so these don't count. Light and Dragon again. Oh my gosh, this is a nightmare. Destiny Mirage, Gladiator's Return, DD Survivor, Judgment Dragon. That's a great card, but wow. Okay, they didn't need any of those, I don't think. That was a rough one. Wow, we didn't get anything out of there. Only three packs left. I decided to do this strategy. Okay, five Ds. Let's go. It's a really close. It might even be tied right now. I think it was like 10-10 earlier or 10-9. No, it might be 10-10. I'm not doing a pack trick. Okay, Blackwing, Breeze, the Zephyr. We did not need that Blackwing, right? No, we did not. We need the other Blackwings. Graceful Revival, we did need this. <gasps> this is a Yusei card. Okay, we needed that. Hyper Psychic Blaster, we don't need. Red Dragon Archfiend, I didn't... Oh, I did mark it off! It's the only one I marked off for the Synchros. Oh, I marked off Stardust, too. Oh, that hurts. Crimson Blader. Wow, Secret Rare. That's probably a really good print of that. Oh, the pain and suffering. It continues. Crimson Blader's nice. Shooting Star Dragon. None of them have Shooting Star Dragon. Evil Thorn. Oh, what a nightmare. Road Warrior. Hyper Synchron. It would have been two. That would have been huge. Okay, we at least got Graceful Revival. Oh, my goodness. I screwed up big time. I'm screwing 5Ds. That's three points I've messed up on their side. I haven't messed up a single GX card. Okay, somehow I've messed up the opening too because I have four over here and two over here. I don't know how that happened, but at some I didn't open this yet? Oh, what have I done? 
Hope I didn't mix anything up. I probably did though. But if I miss anything, we can have a recount. You know, you guys can tell me, oh, you missed that card. You, you opened it on the wrong side or something. Just let me know in the comments. It's a long video, a lot going on. I think we got this though. Clay man, oh, how do you not need Clay man? Polly? Don't need Polly, okay. Wing Karibo level 10, another wrong Wing Karibo. Rottweiler, another Jaden card we don't need. And a hero, we do need this. Hero signal, let's go. Hero signal, that's big. I think that just gave them lead 10-11 if my, if my count is correct. So we're down to three packs over here and two packs on this side. Uh, I've somehow gotten the, the packs mixed up, but here we go. We have Nano Breaker. Oh wait, let's do a little, do a little fourth in the back on the elements. With this last time out of Tempest, so this could have something crazy. Scar Scout of Dark World. Who used Dark Worlds? Was it Ubel? Be Ubel, you you I guess? Worst of Darkness? I don't know. Non-fusion area. Level modulation. Nano Breaker. League of Uniform Nomenclature. Hita. El Etuelo Cyber. And an OT Chathonian Alliance! That's a big one! That's a three-pointer! Oh, that's big. Three-pointer. Three-pointer. Elemental Energy. Chathonian Alliance. Oh boy, that's a game changer. Oh man, we get to mark off three now and we only have two packs left. So shout out Infinity Strike and Eos. I don't think we're gonna be getting Cyber Dragon at any point. So let's mark that out. Cyber Valley can go and then probably Power Bond. Yeah, all three of those can go. That, that just gave them a four point lead. That might just end it right there. That is huge. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open the last two to see what kind of deficit 5Ds is gonna be in. And then we're gonna go for it for the last two packs. Okay, what pack is this? I didn't even pay attention. SOI, oh, okay, this could be big. Parasite Tiki, Success Probability Zero, Generation Shift, Chain Thrasher. We have Samsar, I don't even know, like, who whose packs are these? Who can get something out of here? Princess Pikaru and Hero Kid. I don't, I don't know, nothing in there I don't think though. Wow, ending with Strike of Neos. If we pull the Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card, it doesn't even like give us anything. It just gives, well, it gives us a couple to open or whatever, but I think you can do four on Strike of Neos. We have Firestorm Prominence, Lycanthrope, Legendary Ebon Steed, the Six Samurai Yariza, Green Tactician of Dark World, Radiant Spirit, Turn of the Six Samurai. We have uh, more Six Samurai stuff. We have Silent Abyss and a Fusion Devourer. More cards I don't think we need. Two more packs, and unfortunately, one of them is Champion Pack 7. I think they're in big trouble because we have marked off a lot of the cards in these. Let's see, a Champion Pack 7, you can do this. Be three cards we need right here. Uh, Elements of your Ocean, Edison card for <laughs> Diva Hero, you can use it. Uh, okay, that's an Elemental Hero, so I don't. that's not helping too much. Fusilor Dragon and Dimensional Inversion. I don't think we needed any of those. It all comes down to Duelist Genesis. Duelist Genesis? We've already marked off Stardust, but well, Ulti Secret Ghost, that's three. If we can get one other card in there. Like, if it's like, what's a card in here? Like a common we need, then that would be four. So we need that. We need a, a Ulti Secret Ghost and another card to tie it up, assuming I'm right on my count, which I think I am. Let's do it. Let's just pull a Ghost Rare Stardust. It'd be the most epic comeback. It'd be a great way to pull an, a, a Ghost Rare Stardust. Ulti would be good too. I think that counts as three as well. Kanoichi. We have Ganogo, Battletuned, Orb of Yusaka. This has been a really fun opening. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank Happy Whale for their amazing mystery box. It's been super cool. I'm sending the cards back. They're not mine. I need to clarify that. Sometimes people get confused. Uh, Psyche Commander, we have a Lightsworn Barrier, Destructotron, Grace for Revival, we marked it! <laughs> No, and it's gonna hurt, it would've hurt more if it was a ghost. Okay, okay, it looks like GX came out in front. I screwed over the, look, I screwed them over by four points if you count the Graceful Arrival. They lost by four points. I was the difference. My misplays were the difference. That's just why you play the game. That was super fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, CJ, Liu Guan 62, Yu-Gi-Oh! Unboxed, and Natai Show, Ian Musa Jr. Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, and Changa Lang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.